y'all. Let's have a little bit of fun here today. Okay. So as, whoop, you heavy pig. Ah. As some of you know, I went and I bought an estate or was part of buying an estate or however you want to put it. And one of the things we bought out of that estate was this plate transformer. Well, uh, instead of having a soft start running this thing, he uh, had a Variac, big, I mean big Variac he had hooked to this thing. Of course, he also had it hooked to a dryer plug. And of course, he also had that hooked to a 4CX15000. So we don't know what this is. We're assuming it's 220 because, well, ugh, just the way it was wired. You know what they say, assumptions. Of course, like everything else with this freaking deal has just been a pain in the ass. Okay. There is no data sheet or data tag for this transformer, so therefore we can't use it for anything other than uh, maybe a shop project or something. This is uh, fiberglass that has been painted blue. Um, yeah, your eyes are not deceiving you. When you see me <laughs> uh, we don't know what the secondaries are a couple of them been cut and crimped and soldered back on each other I had to save this this was his secondary safety fuse he had hooked to alligator clips that promptly went into a butt splice that promptly went into about, well, not about, there was two more fuses between here and a rectifier board. I don't, I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to identify this. First, we're going to twist it up on a 110 volt Variac, and that'll give us a, I feel, a fairly decent approximation of what we're going to get out of the secondary. I mean, this transformer is literally, and I mean literally, not figuratively, but literally falling apart. But if it works, we'll pound some wood shims in it and we'll, uh, we'll put some real insulators on the, on the secondary side and we'll clean it up and I'll make something out of this. Let's bust out the Variac and uh, let's get the volt probes hooked up and let's see what this does. I'm kind of curious. Okay, so our short little, let me run you over the test jig that we've got. Over here on the workbench, I've got my 15 amp Variac. And this meter here is attached to our primaries. And this meter here is attached to the secondaries with a thousand to one probe on it. So every thousand volts will read as one volt here. So let's go ahead and let's ramp this up. Uh, remember we're only putting 110 volts on the input or 120 volts. I got, a, I got 120 coming out the wall here. So, oh, let's see here what happens. Here's 10 volts. 10 volts in is 400 volts out. Well, that's going to put us around 4,000 volts, I think. So here's 24 volts, 800 volts, 900 volts. There's 30-something volts in. There's over 1,000 volts out. 50 volts in. Almost 2,000 out. Well, the transformer's not humming, nor is it smoking. That's a good sign. So 100 volts in. Let's trim this on up to 100. You 
Yeah, we're going to be over 4,000 volts. 100 volts in is 3,420 volts out. Let's go and keep on cranking. Yeah, so at 120 ish volts going in, 4,113 volts coming out. So 220 volts going in, we're going to see over 8,000 volts. So let's see, 8,000. So do 4,114 volts, or 40 volts, times 2 is 8,280 volts times 1.145 to get us roughly 9,480 volts, 0 0.6, post rectified. We're overclocked to 140, and that gets us almost 5,000 volts out. Now the transformer's starting to hum a little bit. See why I had it on a Variac. <laughs> it's a little too hot. Even for a 20,000, it's a thousand volts too high. That's all right, under load, I mean, that's, <clears throat> if memory serves me, zero signal on a 20 is 0.6 of an amp. Um, absolute maximum rating, I think, is six amps worth of load. I don't think we get that out of this transformer. The secondary windings are too sh too small, but it's doable. God, I wish we knew the history on this a little bit more. The guy that owned this is uh, it's just lost all of his mental cognitive function. So, I'm gonna go ask him anything. It, you're gonna get word salad out the other end. Right, let's back this one down. So it wasn't off too bad. I called 10 volts. I was going to say 4,000 volts. So it wasn't off by that much. It was off by 140 volts. Huh. Well, might have to do something with this transformer. We'll see. I don't know. This is just a little bit of fun. I thought you guys would enjoy this. Just a little fun video of me testing something and playing around out here in the shop. I thought it would be kind of cool for you guys to check it out. So on that note, thanks for following along. Believe me, there's going to be more on this subject to come in the future. Big ugly blue. I guess I'll have to blow it out with an air compressor and clean it up and throw some shims in it and yeah. <laughs> I'll do something with this. You guys have faith.